Hello folks, I am back to my big refractor and I am resuming the tadpole which I started a couple of months ago. I finished five hours worth of HA on the tadpole back in November and, and you know it was good data so I want to at least finish that off. It's it's still going to be out in the sky for a long period of time so I, I have plenty of time to capture it and so right now I'm I'm working on sulfur. My mean readout is 668. Uh, that's okay. Um, I'm doing three minute exposures and uh, let's see what one raw. I'm not expecting, oops, I'm not expecting a lot of data to come through for sulfur with this object. Just because I've heard from other people on it already. And that's pretty much what I expect. I think I can see very faint, faintly that the tadpoles in that area. And the biggest challenge was remembering how I had the camera rotated back in November. I think I I think I nailed it because I remember this these double stars here being on the right, and I checked my HA and those stars were also on the right. I think I lined it up pretty well then. And uh, let's take a look at my guiding. It's I just checked it. It was breezy out there, and I just checked the weather. The winds right now are are about 16 miles per hour. And it doesn't look like it's going to be dipping below 10 miles per hour tonight. So uh, it, it, it's I'm probably going to be throwing away a bunch of images. Guiding right now is 1.19. Uh, definitely uh, not as good as it's been. Uh, I would like it to be half that. But over here, it, it, it doesn't look too bad. So, well, that, that's all I got. I'll probably see you when I'm done capturing data. See, It won't be tonight, anyway. See you later. All right, a uh, few hours have passed, and it looks like things are starting to settle down a bit outside. My guiding is now down to 0.77. If it stays there, I'm good with it. No, it's, I just jinxed it. It went up to 0.8. Okay, 0.78. Stay there, and I'll be happy. See you guys later. Okay, I finally finished capturing data on the tadpole. But before I get into that, I want to show you, this is my second attempt on the moon. Uh, I made another video on the moon, and uh, in that video, I was only trying to process uh, one image that I captured in Nebulosity. But this time, I, I used SharpCap to capture the moon. I think I captured about a minute's worth of video, and I stacked it with AutoStacker and did some processing. I think my second attempt at the moon is much better than my first now, so I'm going to... I'm going to be trying the moon over the next few months, trying to improve on that. But that's how my second attempt looked. And I actually thought this was good enough for a metal print. I can't wait to see how this looks on metal. I think it's going to look really, really cool. Uh, the only thing is this is all the zoom there is because I used my wide field scope on it. You can't zoom in anymore. That that's, This is 100%. So I'm going to try and capture it with my bigger scope next time. We'll see how that looks. Okay, let's move on to my tadpole. So this is what I captured on the tadpole with HA. This was in early November. And the reason I quit this was because when I moved on to it back in November, when I tried oxygen and sulfur, my autofocus, it, it, it couldn't focus. It kept getting lost. It couldn't find any stars. I, I just gave up and moved on to something else. And after I moved on, I mentioned it in one of my videos, and I forgot who it was, but they said, you know what, if your autofocuser isn't really working on it, increase your exposure time for each image during the autofocuser. So I cranked up the oxygen and sulfur this time to 20 seconds, and lo and behold, they were right. My autofocuser was able to find stars and, and focus on them. So I forgot who that was, but whoever you are, thanks for that suggestion. It, it worked. <laughs> I, sh I should have gone back through my videos to see who said it, to give them a shout out. Sorry about that. Um, so, now, this is what the the HA looks like. That's five hours. And because I, I continued it over two months later, uh, I, I wonder how close can I get to putting the camera back in the exact same rotation. And that's how close I got. This is sulfur. And you can see after I did the align, I didn't lose that much around the edges. I thought I did came pretty dang close. So uh, I was happy with that. And uh, this is what my final sulfur looked like. And <clears throat> I, I did pick up some data, not a lot, 
that was three and a half hours. And this is what my oxygen looked like. And it was refreshing for a change to be able to see that I, I actually picked up some oxygen. Once I saw that, I knew, okay, I know I'm going to be definitely getting some blue in this nebula. So that was nice. And again, three, uh, three and a half hours per sulfur, three and a half hours for oxygen. And I could easily have gone double or more if I had enough clear skies, but we're in for more clouds over the next week. I just wanted to finish this up and, and see what it's going to look like. Maybe my next time around on all these objects, I'll start trying to go to that 20-hour level. Um, who knows? But right now, I'm still stuck in that 12 to 15-hour range for an aero band. So uh, let's move on to see what these other files look like. So here's my combine. And I played around with a few different combinations until I came up with something like that. I used that SHO AIP script that I showed you in my previous video uh, on the Flaming Star, if you wanted to take a look at that one. And uh, after I played around with the colors in Photoshop, this is what I came up with. Now, I kind of like it. Uh, I, I, it was nice, like I said, that I got enough oxygen. This time I was able to get blue. And uh, I did all the colors in Photoshop because uh, I, I I think it's easier than Pixinsight, at least for me, to get these colors out in narrowband. And like I said, when I, I think I showed you this in the Soul Nebula that I play around with selective color. <coughs> excuse me, in Photoshop, for like here's my uh, here's my combine. And if you go into image, it's what I do. Maybe not the best way to do it. Selective color. Now, here's where you can start playing around with the colors. Like, if I, if I go with yellow here, you go left and right, you can see that gold. I'm pointing at the screen as if you can see my finger. <laughs> here, you can see the gold starting to come out. And if I select green, let's see, green right there. Play around with these levels. Okay, that looks more cyan. I keep going back and forth until blue starts to show up. And I don't have a set formula for how blue shows up. I just keep going through multiple iterations, and then it just it starts to evolve. <laughs> that that's how I do that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, that's that's what I end up with for now. If I get bored, and uh, we're gonna it's gonna be cloudy for the next week. If I get bored, I may start over from scratch again and see if I come up with a different result. But this is what I ended up with for now. And before I leave, uh, there's one more thing I want to show you. I went back to reprocess my Jupiter animation from last year. And this was 45 frames of Jupiter. The one on the left is what I did last year. And uh, last year I took the easy way out because when I was stacking them in AutoStacker, it actually automatically creates a sharpened file for you. And, but that sharpened file is only really supposed to be used as a preview, but you know what, it saved me time, and I I just used those files for my final animation. But I decided to go back and try and resharpen the, the normal images myself, so that's how it, what it looked like, the one on the right. And uh, what do you think? Did, did I do a better job of auto-stacker, stacking these files? I, I think the one on the right looks a little, maybe a little more natural. So... I'm, I'm glad I went back to redo it. In fact, I like this animation so much. You can even see a moon here. I like it so much, I'm not even sure if I'm going to try and recapture Jupiter this year because I, I don't think my skills have really changed since then. I haven't really done planets since then. And I think the only thing I'll probably be able to do is create a longer animation. So I'll have to think about it. I'm more interested and doing Saturn again, because I, I know I didn't do so well on Saturn last time. I, I really need a, a better image of Saturn. So that's all I got to share, folks. Um, I will see you later. Bye.